27 runs required for victory. And Jeffrey Marsh, I'm sure, would like to be there to see it through. Fast left arm seam swing spin bowler and character. And Wayne Holdsworth, how much do you hate the opposition? How important is hate to what you do? Controlled hate. Has to be controlled mm -hmm. hate. You can't afford to and not be in control. Well, what about you, Wayne? Control. You do that. Uh, yeah, but I try and do it when the batsman's not looking. But as Michael <laughs> says, you've got to have a bit of a controlled hate. But yeah. as long as the batsman knows that we hate him, then hopefully he's going to be a bit scared of us, which is the idea. Let me just run some photos past you of some well-known batsmen to get just a primal reaction, a hate scale from you as to how you react. Uh, Javed me and Dad, Pakistan. Ooh, yeah, not good. Not good, not good. Uh, Cop one up there. Vivi Richards. Oh, yeah, I, I, I got to say, you know, that, 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 <laughs> I don't mind Vivi, mind it. Cool, cool, cool. You don't hate Vivi? Cool. No, I don't, I don't mind Vivi. This is the big test. Ian Botham. Uh, I never bowled him either, good but... Good bloke, you don't hate him both. He's a pommy, but I'd have to knock him up his name. Yeah, <laughs> I hate him both. I'm not a guy, though. I hate him both. Actually, up here, this is how the New South Wales team train. Uh, they obviously can't bowl at their own batsmen because Whitney and Holdworth are too dangerous. So they have uh, simulator batsmen here. This is uh, Dean Jones. <laughs> and they place pieces of meat on the figure to simulate the parts of the body they're trying to hit. Oh, by the way, just an ABC innovation. We've got uh, stump cam here. <laughs> we never like to let Channel 9 get ahead of us. So the absolutely authentic coverage of the game. Now, this polishing the ball. A lot of people really doubt that this has any value at all, does it? Sometimes you get itchy in the groin area mm. and, it, and it helps you to just relieve, relieve the yeah. itch. But aren't there all these theories like <clears throat> the seam and so on that if you put your fingers across the seam, the ball's meant to go one way or the other? The basic, the general idea is fingers down the seam and like the great Rodney Hogg said, if it hits the seam and does something, whoopee whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, actually, for those interested, that this is how Kennedy died. The one book? <laughs> yes, the one book. There he is. Went through Connolly's pads, nicked Kennedy's bat and took out his head. He was out. Does this happen often, that bits of bats can fly off when they're hit? Sometimes it does. Yeah. Bits yeah. of the pads will fall off or, you know, it's, uh, on some occasions if we can hit them in the helmet hard enough, bits of the helmet will actually break and fall on the ground with a couple of their teeth. Really? They do a really good job. Yeah. But that doesn't happen too often because, as I said, myself and Mike will go with guile. We don't really try and scare too many or hurt too many no. batsmen. We're there to play the, the gentleman's game. Well, because love is important to you two guys as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. We have a lot of respect for each other. And yeah. He takes me everything I know. And... Yeah. I think we just might leave these two young people alone for a moment. <laughs> All right, you can bowl at me now. What I'd like you to do is uh, see if you can knock my head off. OK, that's fine. <laughs> I normally have a look at the batsman and see what he looks like. You're pretty much like a dweeb, so I reckon I can psych you out. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Can I ask you what a dweeb is? A dork, Michael. A dweeb, a dork. He looks like a dork. Yeah. Normally I like to intimidate the batsman early. Yeah. So that lands a couple around your ears, maybe one in the ribs, a couple in the gloves. Mm -hmm. That's to unsettle you. Yeah, I'm unsettled. Take that as red. Then hopefully from there, if I've got you unsettled or if I haven't already killed you or gotten you out off the gloves, caught in close or something like that, then yeah. we start to you know, think about it a little bit and actually try and buy you out. Michael, talk me through it. Okay. I need help here. Hey, how, how far back's he going? Oi! How far back are you going? Gee, that's only half the run, too. Really? Yeah. Got to get the bat up very early. OK, it's up now. How's that's that? It. Yes. That's it. Don't, don't commit yourself forward or back too early, because if you commit yourself forward and it's the short one, it's... I've, uh, I've done some really stupid things on this show, but I'm here to tell you, I think this is the most stupid. Come on! Hey, mate, sorry. Just something in my eye. <laughs> How long do we do this? How many times am I allowed to stop him? As many as you like. OK. It's trash, trash! Hey, how about getting it on the stumps? 
What's going on? You want to embarrass us here? Have a go. What's going on? <laughs> I think that one's out. I was trying to punch. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just see that shot in slow motion. <laughs> okay, uh, Mike, I think, uh, could I suggest you just get behind the net? I'm feeling like a lusty blow. Feeling in good form? Mm hmm. Okay. I think I've seen the ball quite well now. Isn't it that red round thing that comes towards me very quickly? <laughs> Got it. Coming up in Celebrity 10-Pin Bowling, John Hewson, Andrew Denton, head-to-head, -head, ball by ball, in pure pin-striking, lane-smoking fury, when the dork meets the dwarf, next week on Live and Sweaty. Do join us next week, John and myself. Thank you, especially to Mike Whitney and Wayne Holdsworth. What good fun, lads. Speaking of good fun, he's back. Ed Cooper, his album, Honey Steals Gold, it's actually the first to totally independent album to make the ARIA Top 30 charts, and well-deserved, too. Here he is, Ed Cooper. Uh, 